My name is Ilwad Elman. I am from uh, Somalia and I run a national human rights organization called the Elman Peace and Human Rights Center. It was founded by my father who was killed in 1996 for the human rights work that he was doing. It was definitely one of the driving forces for me to continue the work that he accepted. I was born in Somalia, but I grew up in Canada. I decided to return to Somalia five and a half years ago to see what role I could play in the transition out of conflict. We focus on the monitoring, documenting, and reporting of human rights violations and abuses. But additionally, we also provide services for the victims that we identify through our reports. In regards to CVE, our approach has been mostly to work with those that are directly engaged in armed conflict. So we have a very comprehensive national program on the socio-economic rehabilitation and reintegration of youth that are disassociated from armed groups like Al-Shabaab. There's so many child-headed households, so you have young people who have no means of providing for themselves or their families, and sometimes it becomes attractive to join groups like Al-Shabaab as a means of surviving. So we provide them with livelihood skills and business grants so that they can have a dignified opportunity in sustaining themselves. And we've seen a lot of success of young people that have gone through our reintegration programs, where they themselves have received services, but are now becoming champions for peace. They are becoming ambassadors and going out to reach out to others that are still actively involved. Ladies and gentlemen, this action agenda shows how youth are taking on the issues of violent extremism head on and why partnerships with youth and government are more important today than ever before. And I'm incredibly honored to represent all of you at the World Leaders Summit to present our action agenda. Thank you very much.